Taurian Award winner Leslie Lamport once said, A distributed system is one in which the failure of a computer you didn't even know existed can render your own computer unusable. Lamport's interpretation aside, what is the conventional definition of a distributed system? A distributed system involves multiple networked computers which communicate by passing messages among each other. Since each process has its own local clock and there is no global clock, you can imagine that ordering events in the system presents a challenge. In 1978, Lamport tackled this problem with his seminal paper, Time, Clocks, and the Ordering of Events in a Distributed System. He first introduces the concept of partial ordering. Let's say A and B are each events in a process. We'll use an arrow to say that A happens before B. This might be true if A happens before B on the same process, or if A sends a message from one process to a receiving event B on a different process. Additionally, if we know that A happens before B and B happens before C, we can say that A happens before C. And finally, we use an arrow with a dash through it to say that two events are concurrent because we cannot know if they happen before each other. We can also derive a causal ordering. If A happens before B, then A can cause B to happen. If A and B are concurrent, they cannot causally affect each other. Since physical clocks are unreliable in a distributed system, Lamport introduces logical clocks. Each process's logical clock is a function, C of event, that returns a number representing the time at which the event occurs. The clock condition states that if A happens before B, then C of A is less than C of B. Now, what if event A at time 3 on process 1 sends a message to event B at time 1 on process 2. Process 2's logical clock will update based on Lamport's clock algorithm. We'll take the maximum of the timestamp at each process and then increment by some arbitrary amount. The result is event B's new timestamp. Using these timestamps, we can determine a total ordering for partially ordered events. So why does any of this matter? Why is this Lamport's most cited paper, and why did it win the Dijkstra Prize in Distributed Computing and the ACM SIGOPS Hall of Fame Award? Why should we read this paper in Classics of CS? Well, Lamport caused a paradigm shift in how computer scientists thought about distributed systems. Initially, computer scientists had no idea how to deal with communication delays. When Lamport read The Maintenance of Duplicate Databases by Paul Johnson and Bob Thomas, he realized that their method of using timestamps to determine a total ordering violated causality. By introducing partial ordering and obeying causality, Lamport totally changed the game. Now, computer scientists often use event ordering to prove system correctness. Of course, there are some limitations to Lamport's logical clock synchronization algorithm because we cannot order concurrent events or determine causality between them. For instance, in this example, events P3 and Q3 are concurrent, and Lamport would suggest arbitrarily breaking ties in the ordering. Although this is not an ideal solution, he ultimately laid a solid foundation for future advancements. Lamport also introduced another important idea called state machine replication. He explained that in order to synchronize multiple processes, each process must know all of the commands and thus resulting states issued by all of the other processes. SMR paved the way for later work on Byzantine agreement and Byzantine clock synchronization protocols. These concepts are essential for designing fault-tolerant systems that can operate correctly, even if some individual components fail. Lamport's work certainly complements themes we studied in the course, such as concurrency and program structure and networks. But overall, the Classics of CS course involved a lot of reading about and discussing system design. We are surrounded by distributed systems, whether we are searching the web or playing massively multiplayer online games. And many of these systems need to be fault tolerant, especially when applied to scenarios such as aircraft and air traffic control and financial trading. Times, clocks, and ordering of events in a distributed system is a stellar example of a breakthrough that influenced these systems and more for years to come.